I get 10 minutes with with uh, the best cast, I think, on television right now. Um, we'll take it. I'll, yeah, we'll take that and run with Thank it. Uh, Daniel, I have to congratulate you on, on 11-22-63. What a great performance. Oh, thanks, that. Man. Oh, cheers. Yeah, that, thank you. That's really nice, nice of you to say. And then stepping, uh, I mean, you, you're doing shows now that are historical shows. Now you're stepping even further back uh, into, the, into, the, into the Wild West. Um, mm -hmm. Tom, uh, taking on the role of, uh, of William H. Bonney, Billy the Kid, uh, an iconic figure, and yet such a legendary figure. Was there a lot of um, consternation on your part to get it right? You know, yeah. I mean, immediately when you first get a part like that, you can't help but feel pressure to, to honor them. Um, and, and especially someone who is such an icon in kind of the American history. Uh, but then you have to let yourself off the hook a little bit because because so many great people have played him before me and I and I first of all I felt very honored to to be endowed with the the uh, the privilege of playing him because he's such a such a rich character um, and then and then it's just exciting you know once once the pressure subsides you go oh my god I, I mean it's such, it's a it's an embarrassment of riches in terms of his story and once you start delving into the the books and everything. Uh, I mean, it, it kind of gives itself to you. Um, he is such a uh, enigmatic, iconic character, and he's so many things at once. He, you know, while also being this kind of killer and this frontiersman, he 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 played violin and sang folk songs and and was known as like an audacious flirt. And so, you know, he's 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 got these so many like different aspects to him as a character which is just like it's just a playground as an actor um so very quickly the the consternation or the uh the pressure gives way to just like pure joy in terms of delving into a character eileen you're playing kathleen and she is such a multi-layered character uh talk to me a little bit about auditioning and getting the role oh well um it came it just came through through uh my age event um and i auditioned for it and it was really positive but i think it's before um necessarily the directors were completely confirmed <laughs> so there was like there was a bit of a a wait before i got to um uh recall with otto who was amazing he's the director of the first two episodes and it was really funny because when it came through i was actually at home in ireland and i was in my parents house and as all like internet in Ireland is not great as <laughs> oh my family's gonna kill me this is recorded but my mom likes to collect stuff you know like lots of stuff just keeps stuff in boxes <laughs> so I was auditioning in a room that would be the quietest which is basically just like a spare room it used to be my room just full of stuff like I don't know you'd open a box and find hot water bottles or jigsaws or a piece of something and you go what does this belong to so I covered it all up with like a big gray sheet and all I was doing when I was sitting there was going, this is just going to collapse and the hoarding of my family is just going to come falling out with me <laughs> at, the, at the screen. Luckily it stayed up, but I, the computer did break. And uh, so there was a lot of things where I was thinking, oh gosh, I hope this is going well. Cause it's very hard to audition on Zoom whenever you can see yourself. Yeah. So I, I popped a little post-it over my own face when I was talking. But as I was auditioning, the post-it fell off me and covered up the person I was supposed to be talking to. <laughs> <laughs> so by the end of it, I was just, you know, crossing my fingers because as you said, it's quite the part. So I was just holding on to everything going, I really hope this works. But the moral of the story is do not audition when you're in your family home oh. and anything could happen. That's that's part of the rule book, isn't it? No, don't audition around the family. Yeah. But also uh, the, the lion thing where they go, are you okay there, Eileen? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Everything's fine. The door keeps opening, people come in. Yeah, exactly. But, they need yeah. some water bottles. Anyway, so uh, uh, Daniel, talk to me about Jesse. This guy is, uh, is, is a great character. Mm, yeah, he's... Uh... I don't know. He's one of my favorite people I've got to play. He is just so much fun. Um, I was saying before, like he's, I played lots of characters that sort of have a fractured sort of psyche or, or going through something. And it, it was really refreshing to play somebody who is so 
comfortable with who they are. You know, I wouldn't agree with who they are, but he is very fine with, with his, his life choices. Um, uh, he's uh, historically, I it was the first sort of point for me to, to go to before I got to read a script. I mean, I had the audition sides uh, that, and that's it. I, I think we got the, the scripts when we got to Canada. So I had about two months of just sit down and research. Uh, and and I mean, historically, he's such an exciting figure. The way that they, the, the newspapers would write about him is so bombastic. He is, you know, he's called the Captain Evans and the Colonel Evans. And they've got him strutting around the fire, sort of making these great big speeches. And he, he's, uh, he's, you know, it, it, at the center of so many very, very um, dang, big points in history in the Lincoln County War. Uh, and yet you never, he's never, you never get a clear picture of what he's doing there. Um, he, he's, he was at the headquarters sort of controlling the war to some extent, but we don't really know how, how much, how involved he was. Um, he, he just walks out of the history books. I mean, he's just so interesting uh, it, it, from that aspect. And then looking at it from Billy and Jesse and their journey, like that was a very fulfilling thing to know that they go from being great friends to being great enemies to being the most important relationship in probably Jesse's life. Um, and, 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 and his, his absolute, the, the profundity of, of that relationship to him, the, the love that he actually has for him in spite of everything and everything that's come before. I mean, it's just, it's so rich. He's so, so flawed, so complicated and yet has so many other beautiful colors to explore and, and things to play with. So if, yeah, I, I, I pure joy um, to try and bring that to life. And I would say this about everybody in this room, uh, roles like this don't come around all that often where oh, you no. can, you know, you can really sink your teeth into them. Amen. Yeah, no, they don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I think well, that, that, that stems from, that stems from Michael. Like Michael's just, he's so good at illust like fleshing out these, these figures. And I, I think if you watch any interview with him uh, talking about any of his shows, his passion is just seeping out of him. Um, and, and so, you know, you're kind of going on a, a really, when you, when you start, especially like playing a bad, like a, a quote unquote bad guy, you, you, you're a little, I was unsure about how it would be treated, but when you, when you, when you look at his body of work, you know that he's going to put flesh on these characters. He's not going to go in there judging these characters. He's going to be asking questions about them and you know, asking about their, their life circumstances and, and their histories and, and, and looking at it, looking at the moral grays of, of their lives. Cause these, you know, Billy as well, like they're, they're both, uh, they're both infamous figures, you know, they, they're both killers ultimately. Um, but there is just, that's just one, one strain in, in, you know, one, one note in there that who they were. Um, and so it's very exciting to be able to examine them a little bit deeper. Come back to your audition question. That was what was so fun about the auditions was that we did get very, very meaty scenes through to audition with. And I think that made a big difference. Like there, because so much happens to these characters. Well, I personally got like big pivotal Kathleen scenes through. Um, which made the whole audition process actually very fun. Sorry, uh, rather than tell you about my mother's clutter, there's a better answer to <laughs> A better soundbite? <laughs> is that what it is? Hey, I, I've got the wrap, so I've got to go. But you guys, what a brilliant series. Thank you guys so much. Epics is, uh, is, is, is turning out some really good stuff. They really are, yeah. Yeah. Thank you Take so much. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Tony.